Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today Apple has released a software update for iOS 16. iOS 16.5.1 is here, an update we have actually been expecting to be released because of some known problems with iOS 16.5. So let's go ahead and take a look at this update, see what's new, what it will fix, and of course why it is important that you actually update to iOS 16.5.1. So this update should come to your device at around 200 megabytes. Of course, it's a small update and don't expect to see any new features. It will only have fixes and of course security patches. So it's around 200 megabytes. That of course will be different on different devices and different based on which software you have currently installed on your iPhone. Of course, to install it, head on to your settings, go to general software update, and you will have it right here, as long as you're not enrolled on any of the beta programs. If you have a beta on your device like iOS 16.6 or the new iOS 17 beta, you won't be able to actually install this update. But don't worry, if you have iOS 16.6, you will already have the fix installed that this update includes. So if we take a look at this update, it says that it actually will fix an issue that prevents charging with the lightning to usb3 camera adapter this is a known issue with iOS 16.5 but it has been fixed on iOS 16.6 beta and now we have this update which actually will fix that until 16.6 comes out to the public so why you should install iOS 16.5.1 on your device well this update will have that fix we talked about but it will of course also have other security patches and fixes and improvements in the background that apple didn't mention here and just to say i was 16.5 has been really really bad when it comes to battery life for a ton of ios users i had a lot of complaints a lot of comments just having really bad battery life on i was 16.5 hopefully this update will have something and will actually improve battery life for a lot of users. Now, Apple said that, of course, it's recommended for all users to update to iOS 16.5.1. So even if you don't think this new fix is necessary for you, I still suggest that you actually update because there are a lot of fixes in the background that might even give you better battery life on your iPhone. So what's next for iOS 16? Well, we have iOS 16.6, which is currently on beta three. And I would expect that update to actually go through another beta maybe, and then the RC version. So we're looking at about maybe three weeks until the public release of iOS 16.6, which also doesn't include a lot of new features and changes. We are very late, of course, on iOS 16, and we now have moved on to iOS 17 beta, so you don't expect these updates to include a lot of new features and changes. But of course, the fixes and the improvements that they bring in the background are very, very important, especially if you have a device that won't support iOS 17, you need to get these latest updates for iOS 16. That, of course, will make your device run much, much better. So expect a new beta for iOS 16.6 next week, and then the week after, probably the RC version. And then somewhere at the beginning of, of July, you will probably get the public release of iOS 16.6, which again is a very important update, especially for iOS users that don't have a device that supports iOS 17. What's next for iOS 17? Well, we have currently beta one, and Apple didn't release a new update, even though it has been two weeks since the release of the first beta now i did actually expect this to happen today even we had a report by mark gruman that an update should come today but they didn't they released 16.5.1 most likely we'll get an update tomorrow for iOS 17 beta 2 or otherwise we will have to actually wait until the beginning of the next week which is really interesting because Apple usually goes on a two week schedule when it comes to releasing like these betas for iOS especially when it comes to like bigger updates. So that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one.